What's up everybody? Hope you are having a wonderful day. This is Sunny Solanki and in today's video I'm going to explain how to create a simple dashboard with sidebar using Python libraries Plotly and Dash. Now before I explain you the code part, first of all let me show you how our dashboard will look like. So as you can see on my screen I have a sample image of a dashboard. So our dashboard will have a sidebar where I have kept various widgets. So these are all the drop downs. And on the right side, I have four charts. So the first chart is a histogram. Second one is a scatter chart. Third one is a bar chart. And fourth one is a pie chart. And for creating these charts, I have used a famous Wine dataset, which is available from a Python library scikit-learn. And it has information about various ingredients used in creation of different kinds of wines. So from left, we can select from histogram drop down, we can select which column we want to see the histogram of, and that column's histogram will be created. For scatter chart, we can select the x and y axis columns, so the relationship between those columns will be displayed. And for the bar chart, I am displaying average value of the selected column based on one categorical column, which is wine type. And I will explain your data set in detail later on. But this is the final dashboard, how the dashboard will look like. And this is what we are going to create. So let's go ahead with the code part. All right. So the code for this dashboard is quite simple. The whole code for this dashboard is kept in this file dashboard.py. And the total lines of code is nearly 100 lines. So I was able to create this dashboard in around 100 lines of code. So first of all, I have over here few imports that we will be using. So from dash, I have imported HTML, which is for creating HTML components. And DCC is for creating various widgets. And then there are a few other useful imports for creating callbacks and application. Next, I have imported Plotly Express. So this is the library which we will use to create various charts. And then I have imported uh, datasets from scikit-learn to load our dataset. And we'll be loading our data set as a pandas data frame. So first of all, over here, there is a few lines of code. And this code loads the wine data set from uh, scikit-learn, as you can see, and save it as a wine data frame. So this function loads the data set and returns it. So let me open a Jupyter Notebook and show you how this particular data set looks like. So as you can see over here, I have executed the same code. So I have loaded the wine data set and I have displayed what is the content of wine df data frame which we will use for plotting various charts so as you can see it has information about various ingredients which are used in creation of uh, three different kinds of wine so alcohol malic acid ash all these are ingredients and at the end there is a column named wine type so this is a categorical column which has three values class 0 class 1 and class 2 and all other columns which are ingredients and measurements of those ingredients are continuous columns. So this data set we will use to create uh, our dashboard or charts of our dashboard. So let me go back to the code part. So all right, so this part loads the code, uh, loads the data set. And next I have a code for creating various charts. So in our dashboard, let me open the image. So in our dashboard, as you can see, I have four charts. So I have created four functions and these functions will return a chart figure. So first of all, the first uh, function is create histogram. So it takes the column names for which column we want to create a histogram. And then it uses plotly express dot uh, histogram function to create a histogram chart. We have given it wine data frame, which column we want to plot and color will be based on wine type. So yeah, and number of beans are set to 50. Next two lines simply modifies the figure. So calling this line, it returns figure object and then we are modifying the figure object. So we are modifying line with color and we are also modifying the background of the chart and then we are returning this figure. So every time we give column name, this will return new figure. Next is a create scatter chart. So this function takes uh, two arguments. So which column we want to use for x axis and which column we want to use for y axis. And for this, I have used px dot scatter function to create a scatter chart. We have given wine df data frame and what we want to use for x axis, y axis and so on. Again, it will return a figure object and we have modified the look of that figure object and returned it. 
the third function is for creating pie chart now for creating pie chart i have created an intermediate data frame named wine count so this data frame has nothing but uh, count of uh, wine types so what is how many entries in our data set are for class 0 how many are for class 1 and how many are for class 2 these two these three counts will be present in this uh, wine count data frame and then in order to create a uh, pie chart i have used the uh, px plotly expressed uh, express dot uh, pi function given it data frame what values i want to use names and so on and again modified the figure and returned it so this is the third pie chart and fourth one is a bar chart so the bar chart is this one and this bar chart is uh, average values of selected ingredient per wine type so selected column name or ingredient name will be given to this function and over here i have again used the histogram function to create uh, an average bar chart so wine df data frame is given x axis is set as wine type y axis selected ingredient and histogram function his function is set as average to get the average value of that selected ingredient for wine type so this will return figure and then we are modifying figure and returning it next i have declared four widgets which we are going to add to sidebar so for that we have used the dcc which is what we imported earlier and then drop downs are created using drop down function so we need to give id to each drop down and options are what options so it's mostly wine.future name which is so list of ingredients the default value is alcohol and same goes for x and y axis so the first one was the drop down for histogram then next two drop down are for scatter chart and the third one is for bar chart so let me show you again the first one is for histogram next two are for scatter chart and the third one is for this average bar chart so all these uh, have same options because we are displaying list of ingredients and then default values are set alcohol versus malic acid for uh, scatter chart and average drop down has a malic acid selected as uh, default yeah so these are the four uh, widgets next comes the most important part of our application which is uh, defining our app and then setting out the layout so for adding the sidebar i have used external css and for that i have used the latest version of bootstrap as you can see over here external css is a bootstrap so if you don't know what bootstrap is bootstrap is a very famous uh, front-end uh, framework which you can use to create a front-end layout and that's what i have used in our dashboard to create a dashboard with a sidebar so over here first of all i have defined the bootstrap uh, link so this is a link from where bootstrap will come and then i have declared our app using dash and in external style sheets i have given our external css bootstrap and then <coughs> the layout of uh, our uh, app is created using two main div so the first div is the sidebar and another is the main content so this is one div sidebar one and the main all the charts one is another div so two divs are there and at the end i have created another div where i have put both of this div so as you can see in this div i have set sidebar and main content and class name is row so they will be put next to each other so first there will be sidebar and then the div for the charts will be put and this div i have set as app layout so let's see what is there in sidebar and main content so sidebar is again one big div as you can see inside of that there are few h3 tags so first of all there is a header sidebar then there is a header for histogram drop down then i have included hist drop which we created over here the widget then there is a header for scatter charts and the two drop downs for scatter charts x axis and y axis and there is a bar chart and bar chart drop down so this is the sidebar div and for sidebar div the important thing is class name which i have set to call to so if you have a little bit of background you will know that bootstrap divides the total width of your uh, of your desktop or monitor into 12 columns and of the 12 columns i have used two columns as a sidebar so let me open so total width of our monitor is divided into 12 columns 
from that two columns are used for this sidebar and remaining 10 columns are used for this main content so as you can see call is two and yeah and height is 100 vh so so this is the little bit of bootstrap uh, thing and then i have a main content so our four charts the dav where four charts will be kept and as you can see first there is a header the main header for our dashboard then there are two div as you can see so first div is histogram and scatter chart so the two graphs are created histogram and scatter charts so histogram and scatter chart so that's a uh, first row and as you can see class name is row so histogram and scatter chart will be put next to each other and the next div is bar chart and pie chart as you can see so let me open the image bar chart and pie chart yeah so and that class name is row as well yeah so that's how you put uh, content and sidebar next to each other so next are various widgets so we have loaded our data set we defined the layout of the app we defined widgets and various charts now we need to link those widgets to those charts so whenever widget value changes the chart gets updated so that's what i am doing over here so i have a three callback function to update three charts histogram scatter chart and bar chart so update histogram function takes a single hist column whichever is the selected column and over here i simply call this create histogram function which we declared earlier so let me show you that function again create histogram it accepts column name and return the new figure which is the histogram of that selected column so over here in this callback whatever happens whenever you change the histogram so input hist column is the drop down when you change the value of the drop down this create histogram function will be called uh, which will create a new histogram based on selected column and that histogram will be set as a figure so figure over here is histogram figure as you can see this is the id of histogram and over here the his new histogram will be set same way there is a callback to create scatter chart so there are two inputs x axis and y axis so when you change any one of them x or y axis uh, it will call this function update scatter chart will which will create a new scatter chart based on x and y axis and will return that figure and that will be set same way there is a uh, callback for a bar chart average bar chart so over here as well as you can see i can select any column which is ingredient so when i select the column this function will be called and it will create a new bar chart and return it and that bar chart will be set as a figure of, of this bar chart which is this dcc over here so that's how this uh, charts get updated that's why callbacks are needed so after all i have defined the last thing i need to do is i need to bring up our app which i can do using app.run function all right so that's the code for our app let's bring up the app and check how it looks so in order to bring up the app i will start a new terminal so i have kept the file this dashboard.py in this folder name plotly dash dashboard sidebar so i am over there now in order to start the dashboard i simply need to call python and then what is the name of the file which is dashboard.py in my case and i will execute this so this will bring up the server so server is up now we simply need to go to this link where we have kept our dashboard so yeah as you can see the dashboard is working we have four or charts so let's modify let me change alcohol to malic acid and as you can see the histogram got updated we changed to different ingredients and as you can see the histogram is getting changed next let's change the scatter chart so by default is alcohol versus malic acid let me change to ash yeah as you can see ash is there for y axis let me change x axis to magnesium and yeah it's you can see it's getting updated as well and last let's uh, change this bar chart which is the average bar chart so by default is the malic acid let me change to magnesium and as you can see the chart got updated let me try total phenols yeah so as you can see uh, it's uh, that simple to create dashboard using python libraries plotly and dash and i was able to create this uh, good looking dashboard in less than 100 lines of codes so yeah that's it for today's tutorial if you have any doubts or any questions then let me know in the comment section and see you next time